This video is an excerpt from a live stream I did with John Crook talking about the new Yezu FTM 510 radio that was just released in early 2025. During that live stream, which lasted uh, almost two hours, we got to talking about various things that Yezu is doing and not doing for future projects. This is one where we're talking about a replacement for the FT-857 or for the FT-991A, something that has HF 6 meter, 2 meter, 440 UHF, VHF, all mode. Is it going to happen? Is it not going to happen? I'd be interested to hear your thoughts in the comments section below. Let's check out this short video from John Crook from Yezu from early 2025. Today's video is sponsored by Mezzi and Plony Coax. No matter what radio you're using in the field, always feed your antenna with Mezzi and Plony Coax. You can save a 10% discount with the coupon code of HR2Cables at the link in the description below. Thanks for watching today and put a comment in this video because I'd really like to know what you guys think about it. All right, the other popular question I heard, and we'll, we're going to make this the last one. We could keep John for the next two hours, but I don't want to do that. Um, the other popular question I heard uh, two or three people say was um, basically, I think one person put it as a smaller version of the 991A, and someone said a replacement for the 857. Yep. Um, basically, an, uh, let's, to, to put it in most modern terms, basically an 891 sized radio with VHF, UHF in it. Anything looking like that? You know, we got a lot of things in research and development um, mm -hmm. right now. Um, and Because I'll, I'll even go ahead and I'll address the other thing, too. I thought someone was going to ask a question about that. It's like, what happened to 200 and 300? Right now, we're mm. really um, reviewing a lot of our component availability which drives a lot of our obviously research and development on there mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and we're we're waiting to see on there um obviously the ftx 1f is going to be the next focus the big focus of the radio coming out from there as you see we're still committed to vhf uhf um, we still are committed to fusion mm -hmm. you know obviously that's why i released the 510 we still have a repeater program so we have a lot in research and development but we we kind of like to do it step by step on there because if you release too much at all at one time, that's where we've noticed a lot of confusion happen. Mm -hmm. Like a good example is COVID. We released a lot of radios during COVID. You did. It actually caused a lot of it caused a lot of confusion with people because they're like, well, wait a minute, you know, what is this radio for now? What why did it replace this? What did it do? That kind of thing. Um, we are committed to HF. We have the top three HF radios out mm -hmm. there. We say the top three. There was that one that was by Flex, but never came to actual market. So we can kind of say we have the top three on there. Mm -hmm. But as you see, our, our SDR technology is there. You know, you're going to see this SDR technology, the FTX-1F. Um, mm -hmm. You're seeing how we're doing things with audio that no one else is doing on there. Mm -hmm. So as I've always said, and I know people hate this, but it's the truth. Good things are coming. We got mm -hmm. a lot of stuff coming down the pipe. It's going to be a next wild ride for the next three years. Awesome. Is there a well, 220? Is that on? Is that on the roadmap somewhere? No, no. I'll be I'll be honest with you. We've we've talked about it internally and stuff. There's no plans for any 220. There's no plans for any 900. Um, and it's not just us here. It's even in the other countries. There's other bands that they are asking about that they mm -hmm. won't do just because. Let's face it, it's not a lot of global bands. And right when you get really to a small market, it's it's very difficult. I, I love our customers, everybody that knows me and stuff like that, that has worked with me. I love to work with you guys and everything. But, you know, I've had so many people saying, yeah, I would buy it. I promise I would buy it. But I guarantee you, if we came out, someone's not going to like it. Even though they said they would buy it, they're not going to mm. buy it. And mm. to be honest with you, in this day and age with the market, we can't, we can't, obviously, and, and it's not just us, right? If you take a look at all the other manufacturers, we're, we're not going to release monoband radios or radios and bands that are going to be questionable on there because then that takes time and development away from I other projects um other mm -hmm. projects that are not that could could do better and may serve a different purpose if, if that makes sense for everybody mm -hmm. okay makes sense okay i'm not i'm not happy to hear that i mean i think that uh i know that 220 is not used in other countries at least i i think maybe canada i think north america has 220 if i'm not mistaken but I know it's not used in Europe and Japan. Um, and, but at the same time, you know, it kind of makes sense to me to go ahead and make a 220 radio anyway because the USA has the biggest, we're your largest, largest customer base. There's more hams in the USA than there is in Europe and Japan, especially Europe. Well, even Japan. Correct. Um, yeah. 
and while that that is there the it, it always is interesting on the whole the sales aspect of it kind of goes yeah. in there but yeah. i'll be honest with you we've we've sat and we've looked at how other companies have done 220 mm-hmm. kind of look at their things and and right now maybe we'll get better in a couple of years and maybe we might revisit it then but as of right now it's one of those where it's like yeah it's not it's not it's not going to happen okay okay well it's an honest answer good Del Farga says, buy a 220 or 900 radio so you can talk to nobody. Maybe in your area, maybe in your area that's true, but there is a very active 900 megahertz repeater system here in North Texas, and there's 8 or 10 220 repeaters that the noise floor is so low on 220, you can basically work any of the repeaters from anywhere around the Dallas-Fort Worth area. They're not real active. You can find people on there. In fact, a lot of times you key up on a repeater and people say, wow, somebody on 220, you come back and have a 10-minute conversation with somebody. But uh, but yeah, I mean, it's those... And I get, I get, guess what? I get comments on my videos all the time saying, VHF is dead. UHF is dead. And I'm like, dude, maybe where you are, that's true. That ain't true everywhere. It's very regionally dependent. Uh, there's a lot of... There's a lot of simplex activity on 6.52 in Huntsville, Alabama. There's a lot of repeater, VHF, UHF repeater activity around the Los Angeles area. Yep. Uh, there's a lot of uh, simplex activity on, on 6.52 and a few other bands around the Phoenix, Arizona area. So it really depends. And I'm, I, I know I'm leaving a lot of people out. It really depends on the regional. So, yeah, if you guys have a dead VHF, UHF area, be the solution. Key up your radios. That's why I did the repeater challenge at the beginning of 2025. Start talking on your repeaters and or simplex. Be the solution that you want to see. So, all right, and, soapbox down. <laughs> and, well, and, but, but Jason, to add to that, though, too, is yeah. I, I can I can see things different, obviously, because as a manufacturer and a manufacturer of repeaters, you know, yeah. we could see this. And I will tell you, the world has migrated, yes, a lot to, like, the all-star, the personal nodes and that kind mm-hmm. of thing like that on there. Mm-hmm. But there is a starving out there, and we have heard great success stories where someone has put up a repeater. Mm-hmm. And once you get that information out there about the repeater, then it goes ahead and does it. But it's not going through, and I'm the president of Wisconsin Association of Repeaters too. Um, it's not through repeater listings. It's not through repeater book. It's not through those kind of things. It's mm-hmm. actually telling people about it and using it. Um, yeah. But and, and once people are aware of it, then people will start to use it. I just mm-hmm. think people are moved to the mindset of everything's got to be a hotspot or no, that they forget that there's actual infrastructure out uh, there. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. One of the things I've, and I made some videos recently talking about Brandmeister DMR. And one of the things I don't like about that network is it's made up mostly of hotspots. That's why a lot of the traffic sounds like crap because it's, I mean, to build a hotspot, to build a network out of hotspots, if you have a, have a choice between a hundred dollar hotspot and a $2,000 commercial grade repeater, uh, Yezu, Bridgecom, Mo- even Motorola, which one do you think is going to sound better? I mean, there's, there, it's not apples to apples. That's an apple and oranges comparison. So, yeah. And there's a lot more to it than that. I'm very, I'm generalizing here a lot. I, I realize that. But um, yeah, that totally, I, I totally agree about the repeater situation. Some people don't like repeaters and that's okay. But those of us who do like repeaters and think that there should be more activity on them should be the solution that we want to see on the repeater networks. Mm-hmm. So, Good. John, I really appreciate your time tonight, buddy. Yeah, no problem. Um, I, I, cooked, I, I kept you a little bit longer than I had intended, but uh, thanks for hanging with us. Yeah. Always good to talk to you. And uh, we will absolutely have you back on the show um, once Yezu releases something new. Maybe next week. We don't know yet. I mean, because you don't tell us until it's there. So <laughs> Yeah, we, we are pretty tight lipped about it. But yeah, we got, like I said, we got we got some good things coming on. So um, we're going to we're gonna wait. And then, um, yeah, time will... Time will be around, like I said, this week. I know a lot of people have even asked me, this, are you okay? I haven't been able to get a hold of you last week. I've been in meetings. I've been in trainings. Um, we've been doing one-on-one customer training sessions now is what we've actually kind of started. So um, it, it really kind of is one of those deals there. So um, by all means, have me back on. We'll, we'll mm-hmm. chat more and, and go from Absolutely. there. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cool, man. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Uh, you, you guys have a good evening. 73 to all. We'll be back next week. i got some cool stuff to talk about next week on the live stream. 